Hi, this is Mani, Technical Marketing at PICA8. Today I'll be talking about how to import PICOS V switches. So before you start, there is a checklist uh, to go over. Um, you need to be able to SSH into PICOS V switch and you need to know the credentials. Uh, and the credentials need to be same for all PICOS V switch. The second part, PICOS V switch doesn't come with a unique serial number. So each because we switch, you need to set a serial number. So these two are uh, explained how to do this in because we user's guide. Uh, so please follow that. Uh, and then we will go into AMCON and do the basic uh, system configuration. So let us see how to do it. So now we are in AMCON. Uh, you click settings and system configuration. The default user is admin for all uh, because we switches whatever password you set for the because switch you put it here license url is https colon backslash backslash license.pki.com user is test and the password is test and it's asking how many backup of configuration it needs to have per switch so you put 100 and click save that is the basic configuration of amcon it is that simple then you are ready to import the switches. You go to lifecycle and click import switch. So in here you press import. Here you'll be giving the management IP address of the PICO switch you want to import and click save. It'll take about two minutes to import the switch and you will see a dialog saying successfully imported. After that, you can verify by coming to deployment switch list and in here you will find the serial number the one we just imported you click that so this provides a high level health view of the switch the links that are active you see it with green uh, it gives you the resource utilization for the switch which is cpu and ram uh, how much is used uh, also gives information on power temperature spanning tree uh, packet count this is interface stat uh, at the specific time when you clicked it. So all this uh, is a high level health view. It doesn't replace SNMP.